Hello everyone and welcome back to the funkiest jam in this game so far. Seriously, I want to know what this song is called. I I love it. Alright, let's go through this door at long last. Magmarizer. That's for evolving into Magmortar. Spark Ball. A Pokeball, huh? Paralyzes a Pokemon. I can't go through that door. Well, well, what do we have here? Toad, I'm sorry, I couldn't do anything. He was just too strong. I must say, I am impressed that you two made it all the way here. Still, I hope that you have a better plan than somebody barging in here to ex expecting to defeat me. Because that won't be happening. Wait a minute, what is this version of the Giovanni theme? This goes hard. Right, holy crap, just take a minute, just... Let's see, it's Marsh Sect. Is that a water and steel or bug and ground? I think. That's right, Earth Power. Is that gonna not do much or do a lot? Yeah. I huh, think. Sorry, it's the same as last time. My head's just getting itchy and I don't know why. Alright, so clearly since it was weak to ground, that must mean it's at least part steel. Oh crap, but it's part water. This was a bad idea. No. Ooh. I think we're close enough. I think we can do it. Marsh sack looks kind of crappy. <laughs> this song goes hard. Let's see. Char Chomp. Is that gonna be like a Charmander Garchomp, or do you think it's gonna be like a Charizard Garchomp? Alright, it's Dragon type and Fire. Because it could be Dragon Fire and Ground. Let's see. Anyway, I think Goitar would be the best here. Charmeleon Garchomp, alright. So it's no matter what, part rock. Oh dang, it's fast. Sepkazam. Therivar, level up. Chantar, let's just go ahead and keep this guy out. Chansey Larvitar, <laughs> or Pupitar, I think, actually, judging by the shape. It's kind of spooky looking. Oh, wait, oh, dang, I didn't mean Earthquake. Ah, uh, Rock I meant Earthquake. Yeah, whoops, I don't even, I don't know why I did that. Oh, hell no. Ah, oh, still hit. What? This cannot be! 
How can this be? I see that you raise your Pokemon with utmost care. It sounds like you would never understand what I hope to achieve. I shall step aside this time. I hope we meet again. Got him. Well, I'm lucky you were here. I never could have done it without your help. Thank you, Tobit. The Sylph Scope that Giovanni left behind. I think it helps to see ghost Pokemon. With this, you'll be able to save Mr. Fuji on top of Pokemon Tower. Okay, then. I'll be heading back to my gym. You should challenge me there sometime. The Slith Scope. Key item. Can I read it? Triple Fusion Experiment Notes. Although the process still requires a tremendous amount of energy, the Triple Fusion Machine prototype now appears to be fully operational. Furthermore, the cause of the Mount Moon Experience failure has also not been identified. On the Great Rear Fusion, it appears that the Pokemon need to be of a similar strength and energy signature. Failing to do so results in a fusion that is too unstable to be viable. It is speculated that the energy requirement could be lessened by using it on a Pokemon of great power. The three legendary birds of Kanto seem like strong candidates for this experiment. However, these Pokemon are notoriously difficult to capture, and living specimens have only seen been seen a few times in recent years. Ah. Oh, so that's what the uh, you're supposed to sit in a chair and read it. Ah, oh, dang! I didn't mean to press read more. I was mashing a. All right, that's all here. So I can see what was on the other side. Oh, it just takes you straight out. And then as we exit, it's back to loading taking a while because each individual tree is a texture. There's different roots. We just load everywhere before that's between here and the next loading screen. Oh. oh, I see. There's a sewer grate right there. Well, let's go ahead and see the game corner. Damn, we to actually press A on it. I don't remember Porygon being that expensive. Okay. With a roman randomizer watch it be something lame like a magic curve or something. Well magic curve's cool, but like something totally lame when you buy Porygon. Ah, uh, the loading screens, they kill me, they kill me. Do I go in here for the game corner? On the Zaydon's game corner. You get prizes next door. Rocket game corner. <laughs> Don't touch the poster over there. There's no secret switch behind it. There's nothing there. Truth is, there used to be a secret switch under there. We removed it because we figured it wasn't very safe. Alright, that's kind of funny. Coin case. Voltorb flips in this game. Ooh. How do I get the coin case? I remember in Hardcore and Soul Silver, they just kind of give it to you. Like when it's like, ah, sit down, my boy. I have a game of Voltorb Flip. My boy.
All right, so let's heal up, fight Saladon City Gym, and then go save Mr. Fuji. I know realistically we should just go save Mr. Fuji, but I mean, I want to fight the gym while I'm here. Besides, you can finally see what Luo was fused with. I could tell it was Ho-Oh, but I couldn't exactly tell what it was. I was like, is that Lugia? But it looks too blue. Lugia is usually like more white. So if it was Lugia, that would be sick because like fusing the two guys, like the two box art main guys of a generation is cool. Cut. This gym is great, it's full of... I forgot about that. It's specializing in dragon type Pokemon. All right, so it's probably some sort of dragon type. It's a hedge maze. I mean, I don't have to fight these guys, but I want to, that's part of the fun. Don't bring any bugs or fire Pokemon in here. Okay, so that makes sense when it's grass, but I mean, the dragon's good on both of those types. Kyodo! Kyurem Pidgeotto, bruh. Bikia sweep, Bikia sweep. Like through the whole gym. Beat Picnicker Martin, oh you. All right, let's take a look down here. Oh, I thought you got the Erica. Don't worry, I'm planning on fighting all of you. Cause that's how you do a gym. You don't go through a gym without fighting everyone. Shell got. <laughs> Shell got. See, the thing is. It's super effective on you, but not on me. Shell. I wonder what the shell comes from. Shellos, shelter, shelmet. I don't actually remember what shelmet looks like. Balos. Dragon fusion, double dragon. <laughs> Oh no. Let's see, but there is someone over here that I should fight. Just for fighting everyone's sake. Please meet you, my obvious Pokemon training. Sometimes the A button I feel like is a little bit finicky, like it doesn't exactly work. Cool trainer. Oh yeah, that's a cool trainer. Gatom. <laughs> He's kind of funny looking. All right, let's see. It probably has Levitate. It probably has Levitate. Gearanite? Oh, Giraffe Gra Dragonite, it took me a minute. I really don't like it. Like, the head thing on its chest, it's bad. Huh. Also, I'm thinking it looks a little bit stretched on my uh, thing, because Rather than having the 4-3 thing with the black bars on the side, I did stretch it out a little bit. It's already been this way for like 6 episodes. I'm recording episode 7 now. I'm debating if I should make it normal again, have the black bars on the side. Just to get rid of the stretching. But that's also not a neat, four, like not a neat full screen. Crunch. 
crit. Level up, baby. Slantic levels up. Wants to learn fling. Uh, nah. Wow, you beat all my Pokemon. This music's really good. Aren't you the peeping Tom? You see, here's the thing. One, no, that's gross. Two, don't you see that the in-game character is clearly not, whatever. <laughs> Rono. There's not Rotons here, huh? What is Dragon Claw sweep? Sweep the whole gym. One thing is, there is PP to worry about. Seth Kazam wants to learn Future Sight. Uh, that's a good one. Set up move. Uh, I mean, I don't usually use set up moves, honestly. That was fun. Oh, you weren't peeping? We got a lot of gawkers. Glad you corrected yourself. Look at my like sprouts. They grow for their whole life. Yeah, see, sometimes the A button, like, I press it, and it just doesn't register it. Frolava. That's actually kind of cool. I just wish that the fire would register being in the middle rather than being on the side of its head. Let's see, since it's fire type, let's try and use a different attack. Earth power. Shalkia? Whoa. Whoa, Palkia versus Palkia. Mine looks way cooler. Mine just looks way cooler. I'm getting low on PP. I should I should just use some other attacks. Ooh. That's super effective. I shouldn't have underestimated this guy. Alright, he's dead. Ooh, dang. Ooh. Yikes. Yeah. I should have Dragon Clawed. Wait, Sepkazam does have some Dragon type moves. But let's go ahead and use Paraflar since it has Fairy type moves. Fairy type is immune to Dragon. Comtini. Is that the way that Com. Like, what is this yellow guy? Like, what is it fused with? I don't, I legitimately don't know. Quick attack. Whatever it was, it clearly resists fairies, so... Is it steel type? Fire type? Okay, it wasn't steel type, otherwise it would have resisted that too. It was written fire type. Seeded me. Ugh. Yeah, I hope Erica wipes you out. I find that highly unlikely. Look at my dragon Pokemon. They're so easy to raise. Wow, it actually changed the what they say based on the thing for once. Latin bulb. <laughs> Latin bulb. Oh wait. Why did I read that as bulb? That's nub. Alright, let's see. Let's dual chop it. That's what I thought. Blissva. <laughs> that was kind of funny. Alright, let's dual chop this guy again. Takedown. But you have recoil. Alright, let's just uh, rock smash to finish it. Wow, you sure are strong. I have a blind date coming up. I have to learn to be polite. Okay. Eek, don't stop on the flowers. Might have already. Oh no, I wasn't paying attention. <laughs> Gar current. I'm sorry, just 
Look at this thing. Garchomp had on this tiny little sun current thing. This is like the tiny tail down there too on the back. <laughs> oh, that's too good. Dragon Claw. Ooh, that's a powerful attack. As Rock's Mr. Fanny it off. Zuma Flame leveled up. Super power! Bro, this bird is gonna suplex you. <laughs> Ah, that's actually a tough decision. I mean, I already have a really stacked uh, move set here. Like, I guess Flame Charge realistically isn't that powerful. Yeah, I'll switch it out until I get a stronger Fire type move. Well, that was an intense battle. Stepped on the flowers. Grass type Pokemon are tough against water type Pokemon. They also have the edge on rock and ground. That is a very like very early game statement to be making at this late point. Be strong, my Pokemon. Be strong for mother. Vigatina. <laughs> That's too funny. The thing about dragons is just that they're so cool, so when they fuse with something not cool, it looks ridiculous. Ooh, dang, it countered. Countered hard from me making fun of it. But here's the thing, Paravoir is like the perfect mix against these guys. It's like... Fairy is perfect against it. So it's not necessarily the perfect mix, just... Because it's fairy type, it's really good against them. Get wrecked. Slatic leveled up. Mother will still be proud. Yeah, I don't like that. I didn't bring my best Pokemon. Wait till next time. Huh. Hello, lovely weather, isn't it? It's so pleasant. Oh dear, I must have dozed off. Welcome, Dolan. Nice to see you again. You decided to come challenge me? I'm really grateful for your help with Team Rocket, but that doesn't mean I'll go easy on you. I shall use three Pokemon. Oh yeah, that's right. I almost forgot about that. I'd use Bikia, but he got knocked out. Banned? Excuse me, what? Banned? You're gonna tell me. This game about catching them all. Like, it's not it's not a competitive scene. But it's going to have the audacity to ban Pokemon in gyms. Like they're knocked out they're knocked out anyways. But they're gonna ban Pokemon from gyms? They're gonna ban Pokemon from gyms? Like, are you kidding me? That is whack as hell. Unless Maybe it doesn't know what else to say if they're knocked out. Like, like maybe, it, maybe it doesn't know what else to say if a Pokemon's knocked out. Alright. So definitely Paravoir. Obviously Powerhouse. It'd be nice if you could load sometime today. There we go. Azuma Flame, enter that. Because it has its fairy type move. Huh. That's a question on if I want to put Goitar or Slaktik in. Slaktik is just really powerful. Like, he's absolutely the strongest. Yeah, I think I'll go with that, just because he's so freaking strong.
Megagon. That's funny. Alright, drain it. Oh, it survived. Wow. Not effective. Oh, defense fall, huh? Hyper potion that just checks out. Jerry Cutter, just do it again. Stack. Latrier. Lato Latios and Riperior, maybe? I was correct. I like how his body like sticking through the bottom of the ground. Sometimes they just don't work. Uh, let's drain it. Rock Blast. Oh no. Figured out I'm bug type. Oh, only hit twice. What luck. Get drained again, baby. That pair of wire can just sweep this guy's team. Gappy. Alright, so it's disappointing that... The one thing I wish that the randomizer would do would be that I would map a trainer's team. Like, how it has mapped, like, the same Pokemon to our rival. But, like, for a gym, like, it should still be using Luo or whatever it was using before. Like, it should still have its other Pokemon that we saw there as part of its team now. It's honestly pretty lame that it doesn't. But okay, drain it again. Drain all the way. Didn't even need to put anybody else on my team. Oh, I can see defeat. You are remarkable. I must confer to you the rainbow badge. Oh, it's the same dialogue. Rainbow badge will make Pokemon obtain drain up to level 50. Frost breath, so it's gonna say that. Then they're gonna say solar beam. And then when I actually check my bag, it's gonna be what's new? Dragon Claw. It's Dragon Claw, because it's the dragon type gym. And the music isn't working, it's spooky. Alright, let's just see, because Dragon Claw is just a really good attack to have in general, which is one of the most Powerful attacks, I feel like. Oh, well, there's most powerful with dragons because of the same type attack boost. Um, I wonder if I should get rid of Dual Chop and make it Dragon Claw for him. Just because it is the stronger dragon type move. Right, let's, let's just go back. The slack of music is spooky. Top 10 things in Pokemon spookier than Lavender Town. Like seriously, what was up with that? The music was just gone. Being very productive this episode. 30 minutes in and we've already bested Giovanni and the gym. So what's that, our fourth gym badge? Yeah, we fought... Yeah, last time we fought a gym was Lieutenant Surge. Uh, there we go. Alright. That's right, sometimes when you're running, your left arm, or rather, I guess it's on the left side of the screen, but it's the right arm, technically. It becomes, your arm becomes blue sometimes. Huh. That's funny. Well, let's go fly with the Zuma Flame. I wish it did not have to load every time I open the menu. The loading is honestly the only annoying thing in this game. Everything else is pretty good. Alright, and we're gonna fly back to Lavender Town. Cause yeah. Like, give it better load times, make it not constantly have to sit there and load for like a solid, like... 
But like at least make like I don't know. I don't think that's advanced enough to be able to have programmed in uh What is my snake doing over there? We have a little thermometer in there to uh, like make sure it has to make sure that it's warm enough in there for it because you know cold blooded and whatnot and it's like somehow it got onto it and it's like climbing up I wish there's a like yeah it's too late it already fell down I was considering taking my phone out recording a video of it but it already stopped all right let's go ahead and heal up before we challenge the lavender tower or Pokemon Tower, sorry. Alright, we are now healed back up to full health and we leave the store. Or Pokemon Center, whatever. <laughs> I've also been doing some Pokemon Showdown recently. It's pretty fun. I'm not the best at it. Also, I don't like abiding by Pokedex limitation rules and such. It's not even just that I want to have a team full of spamming legendaries. It's just that, like, there's Pokemon that aren't in Gen 9 and stuff. Like, uh, I like using Mega Evolutions. Uh, like, I like using some of the Pokemon from some of the games I liked more. Like, uh, some Gen 1, uh, 2, 6, those, like, those guys. And then, uh, yeah, since it's just, uh, on, like, on this, it's pretty easy to uh, one-handedly run around in this game. But, uh, oh, the X with the pinky moving things around with the pointy finger. Ah, but anyways, getting sidetracked. Uh, one thing that's cool is... Spooky. But anyways, ah, uh, what was I saying? What was I saying was cool? Uh, oh yeah. Like, the only legendary I even have on my team is uh, Lugia. Which I know it is a powerful legendary, but... I, I, I still limited myself to one legendary. So now instead of haunters walking around, there's these ghost ladies. Ooh, please be a double battle, please be a double battle, please be a double battle, please be a double battle. Kick, 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 quah. Oh, so it's just a Chandler. Why would they make the ghosts into... Ch it would I think it would have been cooler if they kept them as wandering ghosts and you just had to fight the wandering ghosts. Or made them be ghost people using ghost Pokemon or something. I don't know. Because the Chandlers, they are cool. It's just... I think it was... Cool when, uh... Like, I, I like the ghosts wandering around. And I like sneaking past them and then... Uh... Goitar wants to learn an explosion, no thanks. Hmm, what am I doing? Sorry, I was possessed by a spirit. Oh, so... They're just possessed by spirits. Agworld. So this hat's kind of cool. So the ghosts are here. They're just possessing these people. Agworld. Uh, it's either... It's definitely got either steel or rock, considering that's what Agron is. Uh... Oh, it didn't say sturdy, it just... I guess it was just barely not enough damage. Alright. Huh? Who? What? <laughs> there are spirits up to mischief, you have to be careful. I do like that they like, slide instead of talking. Be gone, evil spirit! <laughs> Magnetrio? You know, that makes sense. Magneton, Mag Doug Trio, since they both have the thing of just being three of the first version. I wonder if it has Levitate. Flash Cannon, oh no! 
Yeah, it doesn't have Levitate. It'd be funny to give the ground Pokemon Levitate. Endeavor, what does that one do again? Cuts the target state's HP. That's really good for, uh, like, competitive, but... I feel like usually I just try to avoid being on low health. Whoa, the spirit is his left. My friends were possessed too. Oh, there's different people possessed down there. Ghost, no! <laughs> Chandler Morgan, Larvito. <laughs> Exuding pressure! Where is the ghost? I must have been dreaming. These guys just have dialogue instead of giving you anything or talk. Like, oh, there are wild encounters here. Ah, uh, yes, Beedrill, the spookiest of all the ghosts. <laughs> Let's just slash it up. I'm you, but better. Yeah, now I'm getting a bunch of these. Beedra will be like, who are you? Be Kia, I'm you, but better. Just for salt in the wound. KOing with a not very effective. Oh! Huh? They actually made a custom sprite for that one. Arrow Doom. That actually looks pretty cool. I wonder, do you think it's flying type or do you think it's rock type? Rock type. Twelve seventy six. Catacruel. That's kind kind of cool. I'm not sure entirely how I feel about that. Earth power it. Barrier, huh? Defense Rose? Ah, I'm sorry. I can still defeat you. Huh, I'm saved. What happened? I can't remember anything. Reset Urge? What's that do? When you use it, restores any stat to changes of an ally Pokemon? Uh... Okay, I got it. B drill. Let's just go. <sighs> Be cursed with me! <laughs> All right, let's see. Chandachar. All right, so it's maybe just a shame the lure bent out of shape, but let's see, there's Chimchar. It could be that. That's when that ends with Char. I can't think of any others. I can only think of what's up again with Char, like Charmander. And once again, weak to Earth. But hey, props to them for actually being sort of the first ghost in this ghost place. Zuma Flame leveled up. Beat him. What? Alright, may the departed soldier push on rest in peace. Blue Apricorn. Figures. Oh dang, it's darker up here. Give me blood. The iconic line. The iconic line. Cupert. That's funny.
We're gonna slash it. Ah, she survived. Uh oh. Dang, it was some power. Alright. But well, nothing's a match for our dragon claw, baby. Yeah, using the word baby at the end of a sentence. I try it, it doesn't really work. Aqua Tail, yeah. That's another thing that our orb powers up is water type moves. I think we'll get rid of Slash. It is a good attack, but out of all the attacks, it's the one I'm most okay with par like parting with. Paravar, Captivate, uh, no. Giga Drain, now that's a good one. I can have two drain attacks. It straight up has more power than Magical Leaf. Magical Leaf has a lot of not missing. Slatic leveled up. Oh, another one, last resort. Let's see, that one you can only use if you've used all your other attacks. This move can be used only after the user has used all the other no moves it has known in bad one. That does a lot of damage. All right. Dream Eater and Yawn. I know I forego some other attacks before just because that's a really good matchup. I'm thinking if I want to change it since I think it does have potential to have more than because the setup is really good but I think it has potential for more. Yeah, so I'm going to get rid of but it's also my only status dealer for catching Pokemon, putting them to sleep. <sighs> it's a hard choice. Because I legitimately don't know if I want to use it. Cause like if I put it over Slash, then it doesn't have a regular normal type move to just use without having to use everything else. Cause it is such a good deal with Yawn and Dream Eater. Uh, you know what? Yeah, I'm gonna keep it. If I give him any other attacks, it'll just be to replace the Ancient Power and I feel anemic and weak. Oh yeah, I wonder if the blue ones are ones you can interact with. Oh, that one's not haunted. Good job, they sealed this space with white magic. You can rest here. Oh, so that heals. I like that. Come play with us. No thanks. Haunted group. Uh, I like the haunted sprites. They're cool. Jump pinch. Kind of funny. Let's see. I guess it was part grass, yeah, so that wouldn't be the best. Which means I should have actually used. Oh, wait, but it's part ground, so that's also regular. Everything's just standard attack on that guy. Huh? Get unhaunted. Yeah, I don't blame you. Let's get healed again. All right, we are healed. You shall join us. Ah, uh, here's the thing. You guys kind of possessed people with Pokemon weaker than mine. So, uh, I mean, it sucks to suck, but I don't think I will. BKLO, getting XP, Sepkazam, leveling up, X Scissor. Now that's a good move. That's a good bug type move. In fact, that's so good I'm willing to part with Rock Smash for it. What a nightmare. But yeah, these ghost things are really cool. How long have I been in here? Soda Pop. Soda Pop. Now, I'm gonna say it. Aerodactyl is cool. 
And it'd be cool to fuse him with something. So let's do a not very effective attack. Oh no, poison! Ah, nah! I was gonna put him to sleep. Alright. Let Dusk Ball be good here. I mean, this is, like, a pretty dark place. Aerodactyl, badass. I might have to make a new fusion when we get to the next Pokemon Center. Give me your soul. Ah, uh, but here's the thing. I'm kind of using it. Zexure. It's kind of dorky, shrunken Zekron. Get Shrek. <laughs> Gasp. I was under possession. Yeah, it stinks, I know. It's gotta suck. These just mirrors are getting darker the further we go along. <laughs> Exigulary. That's kind of funny looking. All right. Poison. That'll do good. Yeah. Keep. What is going on? I want to go home. Ice beam. That's a good one. You know, it's so good, in fact. I'm going to go ahead and see if anyone on my team can learn it. Alright. We actually have quite a few available. <sighs> I think Azuma Flame's got a good enough moveset. Same with Bikia. Koitar is a pretty good moveset. Uh, let's go ahead and do Slatic. Switch Ancient Power out. Slatic learned Ice Beam. Epic. Let's go ahead and save. Gonna make sure the recording is all good. It is, and my mic is on. And having feedback. Oh, let's see what's on this floor. Weeping Bell. Honestly, a cool Pokemon. I like the Bell Sprout line, but it's kind of funny. My Pokemon dead, but we still fight. Oh, that sucks. That sucks. Porylith. Which thing should I use? I got two things super effective on uh, fire types. Ooh. I just poison jab it. Level up. Boy Tyler in level 55. Something fell out. Hair didn't fall out. It was an evil spirit. <laughs> okay, I was wondering if that was a thing or if it was just the dark shadow. Like, that was actually spooky for a minute. Chingar, wow, an actual wild ghost type Pokemon. And it's actually sufficiently spooky. Oh, no! Levitate. Alright, let's just. Uh, use our strongest. Nothing survives that one. Cause yeah, I thought when that black shadow was moving for towards us, I thought that was like... 
Be gone, intruders. All right, that was a good spook. That actually surprised me for a minute. Haunted girl, question one, question one. Infrarock. Infrinate mix with... What is Crocker Rock? All right, but well, that's like double weak against this. Plus I have my Lustrous Orb. It's dead. Foul play, ooh. Ah, you got me. <laughs> Get wrecked. Sucks to suck. You gotta tell me that was a g g g g g g g g ghost. Ah, weeping bell. Yeah, so I guess that took the place of the Marowak. Can't interact with the gravestone. Can't interact with him either. Oh, no, it will. Oh, hello, Toby. You came to save me? I must thank you for your kind concern. These Team Rocket Grunts came looking for a prototype of the Master Vault. I'm afraid I was no match for them. They took what they were looking for. I am truly worried about what such an evil organization could do with such powerful tool. Using it in some Pokemon from on the dare again, it fills my heart with sadness. Toby, your Pokedex quest may fail without your love for your Pokemon. I think this may help your quest. The Poke Flute. I can now wake the Snorlax. Finally, when the Poke Flute sleeping Pokemon will spring awake, it works on all sleeping Pokemon. Has my flute helped you? So you just gotta stay here, bro? You gotta stay in Spooky Haunted Tower? Okay. Can't blame you, except for the part where I can. Paris! Who's in Paris? Ah, nah. I do like Paris too, as you saw, I got a Paris X to fuse. Healed. Lick a kiss. Ugh, I did not like that. I did not like that. Dang. So I guess you didn't get the fairy part of Togekiss. Speaking of Togekiss, I should evolve my guy into a Togekiss. That's a Slatic, it's Slackiss. Considering it's my only guy right now, I really want to evolve. Like, the only guy on my team that can evolve, even. I mean, what are the odds of finding a Dawnstone? Yeah, it's definitely brighter down here than it was on the upper level. Exiting that place. We already got healed on that tile partway through the tower, so that makes me think that we are good to move on to... Waking up that Snorlax, just south of here. Uh. <laughs> ah, raining. I can't move! I can't move! Okay, is a cutscene gonna happen or something? Did my game break? Did my game break? Oh, is there feedback on my mic? Oh, now it lets me move. Maybe it exited the loading screen early, like I thought it was loaded, but it wasn't actually fully loaded. I don't know. 
Oh yeah, I wonder what the name raider does if he's not actually raiding names. Cause welcome to the nicknaming club. They call me the name raider. There used to be more demands for my work, but now trainers don't come to seek my advice much anymore. Can I read one of your Pokemon nicknames? Here's the thing: none of them have nicknames. Ah, sorry, bro. I am sorry. Cause yeah, honestly, the name raider thing is annoying. Having to go there to change a Pokemon's nickname. Right, and just being able to change it in your, like, in your team. Or was like Pokemon the actual ghost of the Pokemon? Oh yeah, I just remember that. talking to that guy. Well, this guy says go to the tower. Oh yeah, I talked to all these guys. I talked to everybody already. All right. Man, standing here all day gets so boring. So I go south and I can wake up the Snorlax now that I have the Pokey Flute. I remember I came down here and fought some fishermen. And checked out what was beyond, the, beyond that cut area. Play the pokey flute. See, so Pokemon woke up. The Pokemon attacked! See, what makes it funny is the fact that it went from the biggest lazy Pokemon to the smallest Okay, I guess there's Kamala now, but... Snorlax, man, they downgraded you. You Like, I already got one of you at the beginning of the Let's Play. <laughs> like... <laughs> It's just so funny that out of all the Pokemon, I picked another lazy themed Pokemon. Wow, now I can finally go back to Fuchsia City. You're a Pokemon trainer, aren't you? I happen to be the daughter of the Fuchsia City gym leader. Come visit us in Fuchsia City. I'll introduce you to my dad. I hope you know how to swim because my water Pokemon are about to completely submerge you. Half Reap. <laughs> Jeez, these guys are in their level 20s. Like, shouldn't they be scaled to the fact that I... You have to beat a level 40 Pokemon to scale the Pokemon Tower. So I feel like these guys should be stronger now. Drifsis. Yeah, that's pretty funny. Fine, you win. Yeah, I mean, when a B space god shows up, you kinda just gotta take the L. Feeling a lot more talkative this episode, if you can't already tell. Dig through their trash, dig through their trash. Oh, that's a bench. Go in the house, bro, I have to deal with a long loading screen. Hey, little bear, I'm the fishing guru's brother. I love fishing. You like fishing? Grand, I like your style. Take this. Good rod. Fish for a stronger Pokemon. I mean, I just got the rod. I gotta go fish now. Hmm. 
Ah. Ah, right, there we go. Alright, I gotta go fishing, man. Let's see. Bag. Uh, good rod. How do I register you? Oh, uh, that switch? Alright, that would obviously be his back. What was that? I guess Y just makes you go up. Select. Start. Yeah, there's no register button. It straight up isn't. Oh. Yeah, that makes a lot of sense. All right, what button do I press now, though? There it is. You press the right stick in. Fly. Yeah, that makes sense to be auto-registered. Because that's just such a good thing. A pearl! Wow. Wow, what luck. Let's see if it's good. Reshiram! A cool Pokemon? Though I mean, out of the Unova Dragons, it's probably my least favorite. I like Kiram a lot. Zekrom's pretty cool, I like his sharp design. Reshiram's still really cool though. I like Reshiram. I mean, I always did- I grew up with White too. So I had Reshiram in my game. Though I always fused that with Kiram, White Kiram. For the win. Alright. Let's see. What would be not very effective on him? Grass. I mean... Oh, wait. How about quick balls? Let's just see if I can do that. It is level 14 and I'm level 43, so... Boom! Having so much trouble catching Pokemon at the beginning of this, but now that I'm way past over-leveled, I can catch things with ease. Yeah! Hell yeah! That is what I call catching a big one. I caught a dragon. A fire dragon, so kind of weird to be in the water, like there's water dragons, you know. You know, but like, catching a fire dragon, that is cool as ice. <laughs> Alright, let's go fishing again. Why did I do that instead of using the register thing that I already had? What? No, it didn't. I pressed A. Whatever. Let's see what you are! Oh, wow. You follow up catching a Reshiram... ...with that. <laughs> yeah, like, jeez, nah. When you catch a Reshiram and then the next thing you fish up is a Hootoot, I think it's telling you that the Reshiram was a fluke. <laughs> Let's see what's back here. Just Pokemon. Just a place where you can catch Pokemon. I mean, there's a chance it could be a really cool Pokemon. Let's give it at least a try. I do love all the Johto Pokemon. 
They're all awesome. But out of all the starters to give me, like if you gave me Kulava or Typhlosion, in a heartbeat, I would catch that. But Meganium... I'm fine with not, especially considering that who knows, at any second I could suddenly be walloped with a really hard to catch Pokemon and I want to use all my balls on it. So it's good to save my balls. Like if this is a regular Pokemon game, once again, if this was a regular Pokemon game, not randomizer though, because even if it's a regular Pokemon game randomizer, I probably would only catch it. I'd only catch Pokemon if they were either stronger than my team so they were good enough to be like big guys on my team or if they were like just one of my favorites though in like a regular game i do just catch everything as to fill up the decks even if i know i'll realistically never actually finish it i just fill it up as much as i can So I guess it fused into a pure water, it lost its electric typing. Come on, you can jab it. Ooh. You know, it's actually making smart plays. It's using its uh, abilities. Come on, come on. Ah, ah. Come on, Bikia. That's what I'm talking about. Chin King. The King of the Chins. Armazy. Oh, it's Drowsy. I see. I see. Armaldo would be a really cool one. It'd be cool because also then I could d do a double. Uh, what's it called? I could do a double ancient Pokemon. Fuse an ancient with an ancient. Fell Stinger. Ooh, Beedrill special move. When the user. Knocks out target with this move. Ah. You see, I like the attack. But it is weaker than all my other attacks. However, if I were to split with one attack, it would be Earth Power, because most things that are weak to ground. I can cover with water. The only one this would leave me open to is then he would not be good against steel, which currently steel is something that he is good against. The other one I could do is I could get rid of poison jab, which while it is really good for poison, it could be good to have, I mean, it's his special move. It'd be kind of weird not to have it, but it's also weaker than all my other attacks. I don't know. It's just weaker than all my other attacks. Whoa there. Unless I learn something that, like, on Beedrill, this attack does double damage or something, then I'd be like, ah. Man, because that'd be 100, which would make it stronger than Poison Jab. Which is the reason I chose it over poison. I chose poison jab over this was because it's 30 points more damage. Like poison jab's 80, the foul stinger was 50. Be patient, fishing is a waiting game. Six Pokemon, pupa you. Jab it. Oh wait, it's rock type. Why did I do that? Okay, now it's grass type, so now poison jab would make a lot more sense. I guess that berry was to weaken the damage, yeah. Kaburion. Oh. I used Earth Power because what if it was Water type instead of Rock type? It could have resisted my Aqua Tail. 
Exion. Intimidate? Oh, no. Please don't have Levitate. Please don't have Levitate. I think it has Levitate. I'm just going to go with Dragon Claw. Manly. <laughs> Let's go for our power move. Stanva. It's dragon type. Skip tails. Now that's fire and grass. So grass resists both ground and water, but poison is still super. Uh, that's it. A berry that does, does damage? Defeated my army of fish. I was going to say none of those are fish, but Mantike was a fish. So technically you had one fish on that team. Nine, I think one fish in an army doesn't make it an army of fish. I think they all, or at least the majority of them have to be fish. You look pretty strong. Let's battle. Camper Justin. Cough nine. I got the feet become the puffs of smoke. Alright. It could have levitate, so let's just go with Aqua Tail. Hey, this guy is still sweeping on 2 HP. C Flora. Poison Jab. Bikia is just too good. It is the best. I got nothing on you. Yeah, that's right. Because I have Bikia. I have a bunch of other good Pokemon, but nothing's got to top this. I do think I'm going to add Aerodactyl to my team. Fuse him with something. See what cool fusions I can do. Like Aerodactyl Reshiram. That could be cool. Oh, there's the music. I was like, did it break? Come on, make me laugh. Hey, isn't that your job? To make me laugh? Or rather, other people. Man bat! Oh, no. Oh, no. Man bat. Oh, no. Oh, no. Let's say I got nothing super on it, so it's just Dragon Claw. I mean, technically, ground could be super effective on the poison, but something told me that was water and flying. Hitmonhorn. You know, that could be the fourth Hitmon. They have Hitmon Chan, Hitmon Lee, Hitmon Top. Well, that's the next one. Hitmon Horn. And that's a big horn. Just you know how Hitmon Top has, like, spin attacks. Hitmon Lee has kicks. Hitmon. Chan has like punches. Hitmon Horn would be specialized in horn type attacks like Mega Horn, Horn Drill, Horn Attack, Peck. Poison Sting. I don't know, I can't think of that many. I have to look at a list. Oh. That is unfortunate. All right, but yeah, let's just, uh, let's get a pair of some XP since he's on our lowest right now. Dang, ah. Head's getting itchy again. That's no good. Let's drain it of all of its life force. Ah, it survived. High jump kick. I don't think the risk was worth that. Let's just do that. 
It wasn't that funny. I don't know. Finishing you off with a double not very effective move because no matter whether it was rock or ground from the Rhyhorn, it was absolutely double not effective. Because fighting resists, rock resists, and ground resists. 115. It's been an hour and 15 minutes. I feel like I should be making jokes right now, but losing against you really bummed me out. Maybe having another battle will cheer me up. Candy Ball. That's the one that said it levels up your Pokemon if you catch it, it right? Yep. Gains five levels. Oh yeah, I forgot to be talking to these guys. Zap C Pokemon. You know you're wearing a Pokemon fight. I think I already talked to all the guys up there from before the Snorlax. I gotta go back to regular speed. My bird Pokemon want a scrap. They want a what now? Bird Keeper James Tentachamp. Tentachamp. <laughs> Funny guy. Alright, uh, so psychic. Anobi. Ah, oh, it's Krabby. Took me a sec. Leaf Blade should do good. Overall, our team is just amazing. Couldn't flap hard enough. Yeah, you can say that again. Because they weren't birds. Neither of them were even flying type. Neither of them. <sighs> Would even have the possibility to have the ability to levitate. Neither of them even have sprites that float off the ground. Alright, let's see. Save. Then, yeah. I'm thinking, if I'm gonna switch out to have the Aerodactyl guy on our thing, the Fishing Fool versus Pokemon Kid. Like, A, it is pretty weak in comparison. Like, no matter what, if I switch it, that's kind of funny. No matter what, if I switch it out, it's going to be a lower level than uh, my guys, no matter what, considering I caught one of them at level 14. Zoo fluff. Yeah, that one didn't quite work. Flygar. Ooh, Flygon, that's a cool one. I like that. Is it Gengar? Is that what it is? Oh, no. My defense. Not my defense. I'm just going to be psychic. Lovely 47. Go to our level 46. My line is all tangled up. Yeah. Uh... I'm thinking if I should change, uh, like, who, uh, who would I switch out? Who would I switch out? Let's see, I got, like, Bikia, obviously not that. Sap Kazam's really good. Oh, it's not my bag, but no, it's not, not my bag. Pokemon. Like, I mean, I already have a pretty good team. Azuma Flame is really cool looking. But I could switch it out, maybe? I don't know. That's a tricky thing. I just already have a really good team. Slatic is insanely powerful. Yeah. You know, that's... Let's just keep our team. Okay. 
What? Oh, would that be where you can get like Sandy Gas or something? Those Sand po Sandcastle Pokemon they made? Alright, so I guess I could battle. Weather is so nice today. Perfect for a Pokemon battle. Yeah. Mon Waddell. <laughs> that looks dumb. Ooh, it's fire type, so my leaf blade won't actually be super effective. I just psychic it. Umbre. That actually looks pretty sick. X scissor. Hauntle. Ah, it's Grodel. Looks kind of funny. Ooh, Sucker Punch, man. All the sweat is going to ruin my tan. I don't know if that's how it works, but okay. I remember when I first got the Future City of Pokemon Yellow, I remember there was some weird thing, like I couldn't get into the city, like... I remember I went some weird route, I think I went the wrong way. But I managed to get at the bottom of the town, but there was this ledge that I couldn't... That, like one of those jumping ledges. So I couldn't actually get inside the town to do anything. But... I remember, so I, since I had Fly, all I did was, since now it counted as a town that I was, had been in, I just... Flew into the town, even though I was already there. Dang, I'm running low on PP for my psychic. Ega Hoot. That's kind of funny. <laughs> Let's see. Ah, uh, once again, when I'm forced into psychics, the best move I got against it. Oh, it's steel! How did I forget that? I got nothing good against it then. Let's go ahead and switch out. <sighs> steel, 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 steel. Goitar. Oh, I think I might... Ah, oh, dang it. I didn't mean to click on Pokemon. Nah. Go back. Go back. I don't know if it'll... Like, it might be flying type, so Earthquake might not work. It's just Dark Pulse it. Since steel doesn't resist dark anymore. That's my fair. Oh yeah, I forgot I should be talking to these guys after I beat them. I keep forgetting. Because it's just not something you usually do in other games. I remember I did it all through the Pokemon Tower. And I got nothing out of it. They just had dialogue lines. Didn't get no items. Eggs. Got nothing. <sighs> Hour and 20 minutes. I might end this episode soon rather than having a long episode. I don't know. Thirsty? Here, I'll give you some lemonade. Choice band. Six EXP shares. So if I was on regular... If I was on regular difficulty, I could just... Instantly... Have my whole team e getting XP anyways. <laughs> wow. I don't remember that on my guy. It was like a, sorry, a choice band. Uh, yeah. Nah. Nah. Yeah, see, that's a good one to have. Let's see. Oh, I didn't fight that person yet.
attackable. Why does it count as us fighting on a water tile, even though you're in the grass? QS. Kirim Latias actually looks kind of cool. It looks like a custom sprite. The only thing is, they made the mistake of they still have it down there. Like, why are all the flying Pokemon down there? Like, just raise it up a little bit. Alright, dual chop this guy. I should, should I give him Dragon Claw? I don't know. Ooh, dang, it outsped. Hey, Frank. Dang, again? It must be psychic type. Thing. Special attack fell. Here's the thing though. You're getting fury cutted. Silvatar? Sylveon. Tyranitar. Wow. Could be part dark or it could be part rock. Here's part rock. It was part dark. Yep. Black sludge, why? All right. But since it's dark type, that means I'll take that HP. Resume a flame leveled up. Wants to learn me first. Uses the foe's intended move with great, greater power. That's a really good move. I'm gonna actually put that over superpower, I think. Alright, gotta fight through the rest of the beach. The loading screens, the loading screens, they're just so annoying. And I'm a guy who loves Sonic 06, and that game's known for bad loading screens. But hey, there, at least A, there's a thing to look at on the loading screens. Wanna have another battle? No. Well, like. Loading screens like every five seconds. Alright, fight this person. Hey, do you think you could have rubbed some sunscreen on my back? I don't know why that's a pre-fight thing. Like, that seems like a weird thing to fight about. Rayquaza Blaziken? Rayakin? That's actually pretty sick. And we're actually getting into Pokemon that can outspeed us. Not very effective. How? Must be dragon and fighting type and stuff. I was thinking it's either dragon and fire or it could have the flying type from Rayquaza, but it must be dragon and fighting. Let's thrash. Which one of those Pokemon learns rest? Get thrashed on big guy. Togenub. <laughs> Great Harbor came confused. Sumer Valerie defeated. Burned. I see like a short little battle like that, and then, uh, nope, gotta wait for a long loading screen. Yeah. 
loading, loading. I know I just said I'm probably gonna have a short episode, but it's already at an hour and a half, I see. And I at least want to like ah. Uh, I always at least get to the next town or something before ending an episode. I wonder if these are trainers. Look at the little fishy. They are trainers. Tuber. Torlia. Uh, let's see. It's definitely grass. To Ow, I'm just gonna thrash. Crunch, that's a good move. Also, since he's a physical attacker, I think it's better than Dark Pulse. It has the same stat, like it has the same power, but I think he's a, he does more, both of his types do physical damage over uh, special damage. That's why so far all the moves he's learned are physical attacking moves. Dark Pulse is like the only special attack, and so now he can have a stronger dark type move. Because even though on paper it's the same, it's that adds up with his higher attack stat. I made my sandcastle with all this off the stand I could find. Making the sandcastle, don't you think it looks amazing? Ooh! Ah, oh, my sandcastle! I just feel bad. I thought it was gonna have... I thought it was gonna be like a sandy ghast or something. Not... Oh. Now I feel bad. Wow. I just feel bad, man. Feels bad, man. There's beach footprints on this grass. Oh, I feel bad. Let's go. I'll heal your Pokemon if you want. Wow, this is cool. Like the the confrontation music is the Pokemon Center. I like that. Why does it think it's grass, Pupa Bird? Wow, uh, man, I really do feel bad about that. Oh, that's like such an ass. Oh, it's part flying. Drill Peck. Oh, for a second I thought it was Horn Drill. No, it's just it's just the uh, flying type. That for some reason got mixed up for a sec. Luca Trio. <laughs> Ooh, it outsped. We're both using our Earth powers. This mine's stronger. It's full on Earth Quake. Cleft Rivas. Ah. Uh. Mirror Shot. Wow. These guys are speedy. Yeah, such healthy Pokemon. <laughs> so I at least gotta get the Fuchsia City before I call it quits for today. Hmm. Want me to get your Pokemon? Yeah. Hold on, don't be too hard on them now. Uh, why not? Because he just healed him. The wind's blowing my way. Is it? Bird Keeper, Sebastian, Fletch Mega. Actually, one that makes sense for once because considering that it's flying type. Ooh, that's right, I'm not my rock guy anymore. Ah. Just dragon claw it. But why would you have an air balloon on a flying type Pokemon? Alec Mega. Oh, what? Well, not Mega. I don't know how I'm. I'm just dumb. Bad. Alagma. Hey, my birds. Only one of those was a bird. It was also half dragonfly, but it's flying type, so I'll give you a pass on that. And also, it's fused with the bird, so 
But the second one, entirely not bird. Love is evolutions of birds. It's not bird whatsoever. I guess Alakazam can float. But he makes it with a slugma, so I don't even think it's doing that anymore. Alright, let's get healed up. Oh, there's a TM over there. A slack off. Dang. You really just made me have to sit through another loading screen just for the fact that you want to show your ugly mug on there. Wow. Wow. I almost wish I could have another slot in my team just so that I could... Because I do want to do like an Aerodactyl Reshiram, but I don't want to get rid of any of my other guys. If I got rid of anyone, maybe... I don't know. An upgrade. That's making Porygon into Porygon 2. Alright, but yeah, I see. Oh, you got a surf over there. Oh, yeah, I almost forgot I didn't talk to this guy. Let's fight again. I'm afraid I'll make you fly away. Another Reshiram at a way higher level. I mean, it's pretty easy to uh, level guys up with the easy mode on, honestly. Imagine that, fishing up a Reshiram and then like 40 minutes later, you're walking around and then another one just flies in like, man. Ah. Maybe they got rid of Sepkazam. He is really, he is still pretty cool. But out of all my Pokemon, he's probably the least strong. Considering all the types he covers, other Pokemon cover better. Like, the only one I think he's the best in is... That is a psychic deal. I always go with bird Pokemon. Like, why Why does it think it's Ocean up here? Donion. Oh no, Sylvia, what am I gonna do? Sturdy, wow. Slam. Poison Jabbit. Kurchu. Alright, Poison Jab again. Queemy. Whoops. No. May I try evolving Slatic? Ooh. I got like a lot of that actually looks kinda dumb. <laughs> I should use Earth Power, because fire. But whatever. Lux fetched. <laughs> How I get intimidated by that tiny thing? I'm really like a god of space mixed with a bee. Which, I guess, the mix of the B part doesn't sound particularly threatening, but... I don't know why I didn't use Dragon Claw instead of Poison Jab. I would have been stronger. I do it. Slatic is pretty cool, but maybe if the... Maybe if he looks like... Maybe if the... What's it called? It looks cooler than it? I don't know. Because he does probably, he does have the least amount of diverse coverage. And then... Uh, Sepkazam does have the thing with like... I guess he has... Like every other... Like mainly Perivoir just... Seems to do everything else much more effective. And except for like Dragon. But that, you know, Bikia has... Wow, your badges are so cool. I forgot to talk to the guy up there. Torchu. That looks kind of like the scrapped Pokemon, uh, Garochu. Hmm. 
Waram. <laughs> That's funny. Alright, Dragon Claw time, baby. Oh! Anivar. There we go. Easy as pie. Zoom the flame leveled up. Banged up. Yeah, and see, like Pokemon level up really fast with all this. So, if I wanted, I could even give him an EXP share. See if that actually gives him more XP. I don't know. <sighs> I think, yeah, Slatic might be the one I cut. Those badges from gym leaders, I know. I need to get stronger if I ever want to do the same myself. Do you want to have another battle? Alright, and yeah, let's talk to this guy, see what he has to say. Wish I could fly like Pidgey and Pidgeotto. Let's see a Pokemon that knows the move fly. Could you show me? Yeah, I can show you. That's it. Wow, you're lucky. At least for showing me my your Pokemon. Fire gem. Destiny knot. Energy powder. Old gateau. Tiny mushroom. Oh, this is a lot. Silk scarf. That increases normal type moves. Four enigma berries. I wonder what that does. If that sounds like something, that'd be cool. Restores if HP if it's helped by any super effective attack. That's kind of cool. Muscle wing. One of the little wing things. You want a Pokemon with me? Chikorade. Alright, let's poison jab this guy. Crit and super effective, what luck. Spatial rend! Yes! It's his specialty! Critical let's land more easily. It is. I think he actually does have. Like, his main deal so far seems to be physical attacks, but. And it does have a lot lower PP than Dragon Claw. Well, if I want to get Dragon Claw back, I do have a TM for it. But, like... I mean... Spatial Ren, that's just one that he... Like... It's his specialty. That'd be like having a Lugia without Arrow Blast. Or Ho-Oh without Sacred Fire. Or Dialga without Roar of Time. Plus, critical hits do land more easily, so that does make up for, I think, the fact that he is more on a physical than special. Ooh la la. So, yeah, that is cool that we got him to learn Spatial Rend. Because that's his, that's like Palkia's main attempt. Like, that's his exclusive special signature move. Like, he just. Don't have a Pokemon without their special move. Okay, I know I didn't do Fell Sting or even though that's Beedrill's thing. Got yeah, these berries I found. And I don't need them. Two Figgy Berries. Cool. Thanks. Must battle. Bow down before my regal Pokemon. Mime Bat. Ugh. I do not like it. Let's try it out. Ah, oh, so sick. Shizor. Ah, oh, dang it. Go back. That's a funny name. Oh, no.
Hugh Coutini. <laughs> you are dragon. Time for overkill. Really lost. Why is Pukumuku a Gen 7 Pokemon have a cry programmed in, but so many Gen 6 Pokemon don't? Like it's just silence when they get sent out. Like the Hone Edge line. Uh... Uh, the Fletchling line. I guess being the king doesn't mean I'm the best. I can be tough though, if I turn out enough. Three Wacken Berries. Three Wantwell Berries. And two Ganlon Berries, cool. Should I talk to this guy? I have no time to laze in the sun on the beach, I have to fight. Inferlith. <laughs> That's funny. Aquatail. Ooh, faint. Focus Sash. Dang. I'm going to our level up. Magodon. <laughs> Sturdy. Huh. Ancient power. Oh no! Poison. Jo oh, it's steel type. Dang. All right. Guess I'm earth powering again. Geotomb. Geotomb is exerting its pressure. <laughs> Electro Mints. When they put Electrode's face on anything, it looks spooky because it doesn't have the like the color scheme. It's just the white circle with the face on it instead of having the red. Alright. So you are a dragon. Get spatially rendered. He transformed me. That doesn't sound right. <laughs> Let's try it again. Pokey toy, just one of those. Alright, so this is how I continue. Vroom, let me show you what I can do. Cattergar. <laughs> oh no, I missed. Oh, I missed. Again? Two misses in a row? That's unlucky. Craney. Why did I leaf blade? Oh, because it worked out. Where? This route's taking a lot longer than I thought it would.
I probably threw it already now for for these loading screens because these fights are cakewalks. I wish you could do tricks on your bike like with me. Yeah, I'll show you my tricks again. What do you say? I'm guessing that was a battle rematch. Ryan looks worried about the water. Oh, Ryan is just with the water. Arg, this is no good. We're trying to get to the beach, but Ryan is definitely afraid of water. He won't go anywhere near it. We had a Pokemon with move strength. I could know, push all the way over there. I have to come back here when we have strength, I guess. Another route on the way there? You need to use TMs to teach good moves to Pokemon. Birdkeeper Mitch, Sand Mime. Swildo. <laughs> Ooh, dang it, that's bad. Oh, what? Huh. Tysect? <laughs> that looks funny. A psychic again, since it's at least part fighting. Solo Junior. <laughs> hey, my birds. See, teach what can move to the same element type for more power. Okay, cool. Oh. Every Pokemon should be ready for battle. Magsaur. Swanium. Oh. That's kind of cool. Ah, protect it. Mud bomb. I wonder if extra scissor will be super effective. Yeah. Sun you. Logic leveled up after you. What does that do? Helps the target makes it use its move right. Yeah, no. Yes. Punishment. See, that's a much more interesting one. More of the target is powered up with stat changes. Nah. Cause usually we're already KOing people on the first turn before they have a chance to stat upgrade. My bird Pokemon need more practice. Bird Pokemon following a shark door. Bird Keeper Donald Lamar. 
stuff Kazam. Let's see, it's steel. It could be rock. Yeah, it's steel. Iron tail. Ooh, dang. Dang, everything else is also still not very effective. Not buff enough. That's episode that I said it's not gonna be as long as some of the other ones, but once again here we are at the two hour mark. Almost. That's because I'm trying to get through this route. Okay, you know. It's trying to go on pretty long, and I'm feeling like there's still a long way left to go. So I'm gonna save. You know, for the end of this episode, I, should I use the Mist Stone on Slatic, or should I switch them out with. Uh. My Aerodactyl Reshiram, that could be cool, and easily level him up. I don't know. I guess those will be decisions we make in the next episode. Because that is it for today. Because we're about at the two hour mark, and we're still not even close. So, yeah. This will be our first time just ending, standing in the middle of a route. See y'all in the next episode.